<laughs> he's here. Uh, Coach, if you just want to give us a little opening statement on what you've seen this uh, first week of practice. Well, it's been, uh, I think, uh, for everybody, uh, kind of a relief. <laughs> it's been exciting. It's fun to, to be out there practicing football. And, uh, uh, you know, I think our guys have uh, uh, kind of all the work, Zoom and everything that we've been through, and now the opportunity to really practice football, I think they're ex they've been excited about that. And, and uh, we just got to keep building on uh, one day to the next, to the next, to the next. Anybody with questions? Hart. I can't hear him if he's talking. Chris is uh, still muted. Sorry, I, I hit mute, but I didn't go. Uh, sorry. Coach, thanks for taking the time. I like this. We can mute him. I love that. <laughs> Just immediately put me on on a timeout. Um, this this summer, with the, your opportunity to do some some hands on stuff from skill development standpoint, walkthroughs and whatnot, how much of a help do you think that was in getting guys acclimated to the scheme? I really think it was a lot of uh, help. I think it was a good aid, uh, a good opportunity on our part to slow things down, uh, to try to really teach the guys why this is the way it is, and 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 so forth, and. Uh, and then when you kind of put the pieces back together, uh, they understand and why it's supposed to fit together and so forth. Because uh, if they can go ahead and make corrections on their own, we're going to be that much better. Doug Haller. Marvin, uh, good to see you. It, it seems across college football right now and maybe in the NFL as well, and Herm has mentioned this, that, that offenses are a little bit ahead of the defenses. What, what do you make of that and how do you maybe try to narrow that gap before you guys open up against USC? Well, you're, you're right. I mean, it's really been a, a, a shocking, scary, I don't know where it is, trend. Uh, but the thing about it is you got so much movement now in offenses. And, and I think that's the thing. And, and defensively, you got to be able to match the, the movement, the speed, the tempo. Uh, the, are they huddling? Are they not huddling? And so forth. And so that's what you're trying to do, match on a, on a play-in and play-out basis. And then stay sound in what you do. And everybody be on the same page. And you see, you've seen a lot of big time breakdowns, big breakdowns, huge explosive plays. And we've got to work hard to eliminate those things. Claude Rubino. Uh, Marvin, obviously, when you look at the uh, makeup of this defense, uh, you see a back seven that's uh, very formidable, a lot of uh, experience there. Uh, defensive line, particular defensive end, uh, probably. Uh, one area that needs more improvement than others. Is that your assessment after the first uh, few uh, preseason practices right now? Well, actually, I think the maturation, you know, up front, that's going to be key. And, uh, and as you mentioned, it's a defensive line position and then the depth and everything as we go overall. But, but I think the maturation up front, and I think that's what uh, uh, this kind of, where, where we are right now in football, uh, that's what we're working on to develop not only the, the, the groups, uh, but and how to play and so forth, but also to develop some some depth and so forth there. So, um, you know, I, I uh, you know, knock on wood, let's just, just keep working and, and playing hard. But uh, these guys are working hard, and I think we're going to uh, have some guys who've had very limited roles here uh, show that they, they deserve to have a, a larger role. Cartman? Coach, I'm sure that you want to be able to – have a lot of sub packages uh, for the different types of teams that you're going to face. Um, do you, how do you feel about the, the college players' ability to grasp everything that you guys are trying to do and execute it? And do you feel like you'll be able to what you broke uh, the end. scope of what you like to be able to from that side? Yeah. What, I, do you think you'll be able to, sorry? I think the biggest thing is where it's really not what I know. It's going to come down to what they know and what they can take into a football game each week uh, through the plan. And, uh, and I think we'll be fine that way. And, and, uh, and that's the exciting part. We, we, we've exposed them to a lot. And uh, then it'll become the, 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 the pieces that go in. And, and we, uh, you know, really rep play after play after play uh, that we'll, you know, use to apply versus the opponents. Doug Haller. I mean, we've heard a lot of um, encouraging words about Merlin Robertson's, Merlin Robertson's drive and, and just uh, preparation for this season. What's the biggest difference you've seen in him uh, just from last year to where you are now? 
I think last year, since, since you know, Gene and I started coming over here, just the transformation in his body physically uh, is one thing. And then his maturity of understanding uh, the defense and what we're asking him to do, his, his position inside now, and then the overall scope of the offense and being able to have the eyes to, to differentiate what the offense is doing and so forth and help communicate uh, with the rest of the linebacker group because they're the group that kind of has to be, you know, they got to be our, our, our locomotion in everything we do as far as setting our fronts and our, and our coverage and so forth. And I'm really pleased uh, with his, uh, has really shown a lot of maturity uh, throughout this whole period. Michelle Gardner. Uh, Coach, uh, Tyler Johnson making the, tra uh, the transfer from uh, linebacker to defensive end. What have you seen uh, from him so far? Well, he's one of those guys who now is, is getting an opportunity to, to, to really maybe do something he's more suited to do. And uh, he's really kind of taking the opportunity and running with it, which is great. And, uh, you know, so really been pleased uh, with Tyler. I, I would say that uh, – uh, you know, uh, last the last year in the role I was in, Tyler spent a lot of time uh, soul searching with me all the time about different things. And, uh, and now that he's back out here and playing football, uh, you see a big smile on his face and he's having fun. And uh, he's really bonded with, with coaches up front. And, uh, and that's been great to see. Uh, he's kind of got a new life. And, uh, you know, that's really cool when you get an opportunity like that. Gabe Schwartz. What, um, based on so far in the, in the fall practices, have you seen from Chase Lucas and Jack Jones and, and their role in the secondary this fall? Well, you got to be pleased with both of them overall. You know, they have ability to play in, in the secondary, but their ability to, to become leaders on this defensive football team, uh, I think that to me is the most pleasing part uh, because they have experience playing. Uh, obviously, Chase has been here throughout his collegiate career. Uh, Jack comes in in a different way, but really just the maturity for them to uh, really be demanding of their teammates to get things right. And, uh, and, that, and that's great. Doug Haller. Uh, Marvin, just with all the, the stops and starts and just the craziness of the offseason, what's your biggest concern right now? Uh, just continue to work and uh, stay healthy. I think like we talked about, just so depth. Uh, you, like you said, we've had a lot of stops and starts and stops and so forth. And we're trying to convince our guys to stay within our little bubble we got here. And they've done, they did a great job before until we got shut down in August. And now we got to go back and, and we're really working hard at that. Them understanding the sacrifice it's going to take for us to have success this football season. It's going to be on the field, but we're going to have to have real success off the field in everything we do. You know, as we move about this building, as they move, I leave, I leave this building is all the things we know, uh, the, the, the safeguards and so forth for, to stay protected through the COVID. Uh, Ray, real quick, are you mentioned? Go ahead. Okay, I was going to say that Herm says you guys have started looking at USC. How much emphasis is placed on preparing for their weapons versus just general improvements of the defense at this point, preparing for the well, season? Right now, we're just worried about us. I mean, we looked at SC shoot in April, you know, so uh, I've looked at SC a bunch and, uh, you know, but what they, it's the first game of the year. So we've got to be able to apply what we do to whatever they present us with. And uh, it, it's a first football game. We have no idea uh, what they're going to do if, if they come in and play the first football game, as I'm sure they're unsure about what we do. Anyone else? All right. Thanks, Coach. All right. Good. Thank you. Guys and gals, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Good to see you.